today we're going to be going over Murdoch Hacksaw Journal, otherwise known as Rupert Murdoch's Milk Toast Butt Boy. But if you do like the video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell notification, turn all of my on, you know, that way you get all of my notifications, all of my uploads. If you like my videos, what have you. Uh, that way we can get boosted in the algorithm and eventually make up our own ecosystem, not surrounded by Murdoch and uh, CNN, basically, you know, so we're not having to fall between the culture war lines of uh, big banks, big pharma, and... Uh, and private insurance trying to fuck you, the people, over. Anyways, let's get into the video. On an airbase in Jordan, members of the American Air Force prepare for an aid drop over Gaza. The Wall Street Journal was invited along to document the process. So right now, I'm in the cockpit of this American C-130. We're about to take off, and uh, it'll be about a 40-minute ride until we're over Gaza. I swear to God, this Murdoch fuck boy, this, this, uh, this Murdoch butt boy, you know, it makes sense, you know, since Murdoch, Murdoch is one of the biggest media owners in the entire world, it would make sense that this man looks like the the uh the hybrid of if mark zuckerberg's forehead met elon musk's face seriously take the take the no take the eyes the bottom of the eyes up on mark zuckerberg and the uh and the uh nose down on elon musk and then tell me this guy does not look like a hybrid i mean seriously he has the gigantic forehead and the small eyes of Mark Zuckerberg. The only thing that is separating the two of them from being an actual merger is the fact that he has an extremely long face. I mean, come on. He, like, the man has a nose longer than Pinocchio, and you expect him to tell you the truth about the in-depths of the Israel-Gaza war? But anyways... Between a quarter to half a million civilians in northern Gaza are almost completely cut off from aid and are now living on the brink of famine. That's where the aid is dropping today. Today they're carrying about three tons worth of aid. Now, while that sounds like a lot from here, really it's about the equivalent of one truckload worth of aid. This is just a small portion of what is needed on the ground there. Look, and here's the thing, right? Don't you love how they'll talk about Israel-Gaza in this war? That's so bad, right? While Americans have, like, pretty much have the literacy rate on average of a fifth or sixth grader, okay? They have to pay up the ass for health insurance, okay? They, to get actual good health care in America, you might as well just spread goatsy for that movie huge. Because, I mean, holy crap, it's hard. Uh, wages have not risen to match inflation at all. Minimum, the federal minimum wage, I believe, is still $7.20 in the United States. When our inflation rate nationally is so high that in 2020, pri early January of 2020, you had articles saying to match inflation at that time, you would have had to pay workers $21.50 an hour to meet the minimum wage to match minimum wage to inflation, let alone all the spending we've done after that. That's why when I hear people like, oh, you have to drop prices. What do you think's gonna happen? That what, what, we're gonna take that money out of circulation? We're gonna take trillions of dollars out of circulation? What do you think is gonna happen? Like, that's why all the experts are saying, we need to raise wages, because you're not just gonna take that money out of circulation. It's not happening. As, as and I swear to God, these like these these rhino and like these these p political culture war pundits will, will literally are literally like why should we have to answer questions about minimum wage that's why we pay people off to to so that way we can profit on the backs of the people we say we represent but they'll never know because we're making that green while they're suffering they'll never know 
because we pay off the media. You know, that's how this works. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, and yeah, and just a friendly reminder, they'll never talk about Medicare. They'll shit on you if you go on their network and talk about Medicare. Because Fox News in, in the United States uh, and the Murdoch Incorporated companies in the United States, you know who Fox News' biggest donors are? Liberty Mutual, Progressive Insurance, Private Insurance. Do you think they would actually let someone talk productively? When their biggest, uh, their biggest advertisers, like I said, Liberty Mutual and Progressive, are putting millions, tens of hundreds of millions of dollars into their network? I don't think so. So, yeah. Uh, fuck you, Murdoch. Uh, yeah, the, the and all the other news establishments. We're, we're, we're gonna give them, we're gonna give them a good one of these. How you like that, huh? How you like that, huh? Oh, oh, sorry, you wanna... You want, you want Medicare? Eh. This is gonna be my reaction to that, you know? Just like, you want, you want free health insurance paid by corporations? You want minimum wage to rise and to match inflation? Hell no! This is our reaction to that shit! Our reaction to that! But yeah, anyways, uh, don't get your news from these mainstream outlets. You know, they're just a glorified special sock, okay? They, they are dry and sticky with corruption, okay? Do not get your media from those people. They suck. They want to fuck you. They want to fuck everybody in this country. Why? Because their corporate donors say so. Anyways, that's today's video. But alright, if you do like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification all the way on if you like my videos. But anyways, peace.